I've always loved handwriting, whether it's on paper and everything involved with it, from collecting and choosing your favorite pens to amassing your own library of handwritten notebooks, to digital note taking, which I've been very fond of ever since Apple released the Apple Pencil alongside the original 12.9 inch iPad Pro back in 2015. Now, I love the experience of writing quick ideas on paper and I really enjoy the convenience of writing good looking digital notes and everything that comes with my iPad. But I've always run into a problem. Whenever I've wanted to take both with me, my physical notebook and the iPad, it's always been so cumbersome. Having everything loosely tossed into my backpack between my iPad, notebook and pen is really unorganized, which has often resulted in me leaving things behind in the past. But I think I finally found the solution to this to make the perfect analog and digital note taking package. Housing all my analog and digital note taking tools is this new compendium by OrbitKey. I've been rocking this sample for a couple of weeks now, which I also kind of stole from the design team. Hey Rich, can I borrow the compendium sample? No. On the left here for digital note taking under the sleeve, I use an iPad mini with this Apple Pencil. And on the right hand side here, for my analog setup, I have a pretty basic black hardcover leather notebook. Although this changes from time to time, depending on which notebook in particular I'm bringing with me for the day. This notebook is paired with my silver Lamy All-Star Ballpoint Fountain Pen, which sits here, always ready to use uh, inside this pen loop just here. And as you can see, everything is available here in this compendium, which has quickly become my favorite way to carry around all of my handwriting peripherals in one nice organized package. So taking a closer look at the compendium itself, now that I've got it all closed up, I can quickly access everything using this latch mechanism, like that, which is just easy to pull out and unfold. There's no zippers or buttons or anything like that. It's just the one latch mechanism with the elastic, and there you go. You're right into the compendium straight away. Now I'm sure there are some other compendiums and folios out there that will do a pretty similar job, but the reason why I really love this one is because of how quickly it is just to open up and get into all the contents inside the compendium. Within a couple seconds, I just open it up and I've got my notepad and my iPad and everything accessible straight away. Uh, but more importantly as well, because I carry quite a thick notebook, this is a pretty thick boy alongside the iPad as well, it gives you a little bit more range to add a bit more thickness to the overall package. So this package I've got here with my compendium now is actually quite thick, something I wouldn't be able to do if I was bound by a zipper or a uh, latch or buckle design. So this is really great. Now taking a closer look at what's inside my compendium and note taking package here, on the right hand side, I have my paper notebook and you can really include a lot of different notebooks here. This one in particular I have is a hardcover leather notebook by Jay Burroughs. And as you can see, if I pull it out just now and remove the bookmark. So here's the notebook here itself. It's a hardcover notebook. It just slides in like that. And straight away, it's already attached. Now, this is a sample version, so you can actually put in a full notepad version. This is a notebook, so if you wanted something vertical, you can add it here on the right, because there'll be a bit of a slit here in the final design. Uh, but this one's a sample, so I just have a notebook here uh, on the right-hand side for my setup. And like I said, I have a pretty thick notebook in here at the moment, and you can add a thin one like this one that comes with the compendium. And one thing I really wanted to note is that this pen loop here is really, really helpful because this is a quite a thick pen that I like to use, but if you like to use thinner pens, it's no problem as well. Like for example, this plastic pen, you can slide it in just like that, and it's just a nice and secure. And for example, let's say if I use like a Uniball pen, that's a pretty common pen too. Again, you can just slide it in, and it's nice and secure as well. So because this kind of opens up and everything, again, you can add whatever pens you like. So it's very customizable, just like the notebook or notepad, you can really add most A5 notebooks that you like, as well as most pens too. Having a paper notebook on the side is all really great, especially if you love to journal, which I know a lot of people do like and prefer to do it with physical notes. So whenever I do want to note take, I just open up my compendium, grab my pen, open up the notebook, and then within a matter of seconds, I can start writing. And especially as well because the compendium provides a nice flat writing surface too, so you don't get those bumps and everything if you have to write on your lap or something like that. 
Now, one of my favorite parts of this whole setup, if I've closed this over here, is on this left-hand side here. And this is the digital part of the setup where I keep my iPad. Now, hidden underneath this flap where I store a couple of cards here in the compendium is where I house my Apple Pencil alongside my sixth generation iPad mini. Now, this thing is awesome for note taking and productivity on the go. I absolutely love it. Specifically, I have the 64 gigabyte version in Starlight, which I think is the perfect combo alongside my black and beige papered colored hardcover notebook here on the right hand side. And paired with the note taking app Notability that I love to use and I've been using for many, many years now. I love to utilize this beige textured paper setup along with the darker UI elements. So it really looks and feels like I'm writing on a paper notebook, but I get all the benefits of digital on the iPad. Speaking of feeling too, as I mentioned, I added a screen protector, which is not exactly a paper-like screen protector, but it does feel really, really close to one as I have used them in the past. It was around about $18 on Amazon and believe me, it goes such a long way in enhancing the writing experience on the iPad and it goes with the iPad Pro or the iPad mini, but for this one, it really does feel like a pocket A5 notebook now. Just listen to the difference. My favorite note taking utilization of the iPad mini inside this compendium is that I have an ongoing today to do subject in Notability where each day of the week, depending on how productive I am, I make a list of all the different things on my mind that I want to get done throughout the day, which really goes a long way in helping me stay organized. But most importantly, it gets all of the junk that's in my head onto a piece of paper or digitally on here and it helps me really get through throughout the day and I love just ticking things off rather than having all these loose papers around. Sometimes I do write them down in my digital notebook but then again this is why it's great to have both digital and analog on me all the time. Now sometimes too I do like to rotate my compendium and write with my iPad in this horizontal space here which is nicely kind of arranged uh, inside of the compendium. But most preferably, I like to keep it in the portrait orientation. But in the end, it just acts as a nice little dedicated spot when you are setting up your workspace wherever you go out and about. Also, of course, to note is that you do have the Lamy pen on the right hand side or whatever pen that you want to have here. I have the Lamy pen and with the Apple Pencil, you can just snap it to the side of the iPad mini. So you have both all in the one little package too. And lastly, of course, iPad minis aren't just great for note taking, but your whole digital life can be organized on the go if you just wanted to take this package out and about. And that's because you've got access to things like your calendar, your productivity with Notion. I use it for browsing storyboards and looking at shot decks whenever I'm on the go, especially on shoots and set. And of course, movies, entertainment, and everything else that you have on an iPad. I feel like this all is really nicely set up for both. So all in all, you can pretty much customize your own digital and note taking package and bring mostly any pen that you'd like and A5 notebook here on the right hand side. With the compendium itself, it's now available on Kickstarter or at least the time that I was making this video in both an A5 version, which is the one that I have here and an A4 version. Now the A5 version fits an iPad mini sixth generation and anything below and the A4 version fits an iPad Pro 11 inch and anything smaller in that size. Keep in mind that you do need to use them without a case in order for it to fit nicely and snug underneath this flap here. While they are on Kickstarter, you can get them for a pretty sweet discount too. I believe it's up to around about 27% or 30% off. So if you wanted to pick these up on a discount before they go on sale later in the year, definitely check out the Kickstarter link in the description below. So that's it. I'm really keen to hear how you put together your very own digital and analog note taking package. If you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know in the comments just below that like button. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there and do take care.